be fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on in its second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And he comes back with one complete. Detroit, Detroit. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Looking for Strong, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. But he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimum. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Antonio Brown, 43 yards. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. well for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. He's up to about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't know. Now the ball's out. Osweiler lost it, and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown look pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. 
On second down, it's Bell. And this time, not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Roethlisberger now to throw on third down. He completes it to Bryant. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. The goal of a wide receiver. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Green, the tight end, in motion. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. After the penalty, it's Bell. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Fourth down, here's Roethlisberger. Trying to lay one up deep. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And they're gonna come up empty here on fourth down. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just gonna see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They'll come out in the pistol. Let's go. Green, 39. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They go play action here on first down. Looking deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24 yard line. And now out comes Houston. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a real... And oh, he coughed it up. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe it'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Single, single, slot, slot. Hey, you're on Shift together here from the D-line. Don't let 89 go deep. Don't let 89 go deep. Cut it left. 
And the back goes into motion. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He's got time in the pocket. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Halfback sent in motion. On third down, Roethlisberger. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Here we go. Play clock winding down. They'll try and throw for him with Roethlisberger. And able to find Green. And into the end zone. Touchdown.